Vintage trousers may be a bargain, but very often the fit isn't quite right. Here is my step-by-step -step guide to tapering a pair of jeans for a more contemporary look with my workshop tailor, Michael. Turn them inside out. On your outer leg, this is the seam you want to be working on. That seam there is your double stitch seam. You don't want to be altering on that seam. It won't work correctly. You want to do it on the outside seam. So, as your seam is, it's always going to be tucked into the hem. If you want to get a nice pair of normal fabric scissors and knit, carefully knit into that area so it can go flat. So, the full leg. And then make sure that bottom part where we've just snipped before is nice and flat also. Eight inches across is a standard sort of fitment. So that's eight inches at the hem. About 15 inches up is where your knee is. So you just make your mark where you want to be coming out at the knee point. I've got a proper pattern cutting ruler, but you could use a normal ruler. So you want to get it on a nice angle. You're going to be taking it in the most of the bottom and then doing it very gradual. Right, so we'll start there and then chalk it all the way. So you can see there, but it's nice and gradual. Make sure you've got a thicker cotton. You don't want to use too thin a cotton. If you use something for dress fabric, it's going to be too thin. Once you've washed the jeans a few times, it'll deteriorate and it'll, it, might, it might snap. So we'll start off, go forwards and backwards a bit. Forwards, backwards again. And then we'll go back to where the hem starts and then back over again. You want to make sure your machine is on the tighter setting, not the loosest setting. So on this specific machine, it goes from one to five. So I'm going to put it on about a two. And then that'll make it tighter, the stitching, just so in the future it doesn't snap. So down the blue line we go. We're meeting our new seam we've made to the old seam. So now it's important that we go back and forth over there and in essence bar tack it to stop it from coming undone. Snip off the excess. There we go. Right, so that's the stitching on the machine done now. So for this, we're going to be using a pair of pinking shears. Now you can pick up the pinking shears with this edge on. These are more from haberdashery and craft stores, and then that will stop it from fraying. There we go. So, that's been done now. So over to the ironing board. So, if you just repeat the same process on the other leg. And then that's how you take a pair of jeans. Now you can taper in your vintage jeans. Click here to find out how to cover a button. To see all the videos from the workshop in a playlist, click here. Or head over to 4OD to watch full episodes of This Old Thing with me, Dorno Porter.